Ever wonder if we could control gravity? Well, here's the real, testable version of that idea. A physicist has proposed an experiment where a passing gravitational wave could exchange a tiny amount of energy with laser light, leaving a measurable fingerprint in an interferometer. That's not sci-fi tractor beams. It's a precision measurement problem. And if it works, it could hint at something we've never directly seen, graviton-like signatures. First, quick grounding. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time that travel at the speed of light. We've already detected them directly, famously with LIGO's first detection reported in physical review letters. And since that first detection, LIGO has reported many more events, enough that gravitational wave astronomy is now a real, ongoing thing. But notice what we're doing today, we're listening. We're not really interacting. Now the twist. The new proposal flips the usual approach. Instead of trying to move mirrors and watch distances change, it focuses on energy transfer between a gravitational wave and photons in a laser interferometer. If a gravitational wave passes through, it can modulate the photon's frequency, raising it along one path, lowering it along the other, so when the beams recombine, you get a non-zero phase difference. That phase difference is the measurable signal, and this is where the headline-grabbing language comes from. APS Physics Magazine explains the proposal as searching for signatures consistent with stimulated emission or absorption of gravitons by light. The technical paper behind it is literally titled Stimulated Emission or Absorption of Gravitons by Light. Gravitons are hypothetical. Think the quantum unit of a gravitational wave in the same spirit that photons are quanta of light. So the experiment is basically asking, can we catch gravity acting quantum-like? by watching how it trades energy with light? But there's a huge practical problem. The effect is tiny. So the proposal adds something clever, a second stage where the tiny frequency shifts don't just happen and disappear. They accumulate into a larger phase difference over an extremely long phase accumulation path. This is also where it differs from LIGO-style constraints. In the APS explanation, LIGO's effective optical path length is constrained by the gravitational wave's period, roughly on the order of 1,000 kilometers effective path length, because you can't let opposite cycles cancel your signal. In the proposed scheme, the phase accumulation length could, in principle, reach millions of kilometers. Using commercially available tabletop laser technology, the APS piece says a phase accumulation path of about 1 million kilometers, achievable in principle with something like a million reflections, could produce a phase difference of about 10 to the power of minus 7. 10 to the power of minus 7 is the kind of tiny number that sounds impossible, until you remember, interferometers are literally built to measure tiny phase changes. But this is not a casual weekend build. The APS piece is clear. It would require an ultra-stable setup and a stable million-kilometer phase accumulation stage. Now the most important part, what would this actually prove? Even if you observe a phase difference consistent with energy transfer larger than a single graviton energy, the APS piece says it would strongly support the graviton hypothesis, but it would not be conclusive proof. Because a similar phase shift could also come from a semi-classical interaction between photons and the gravitational wave. So, evidence, not case closed. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science with SciBite Insights.